everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Anne from the Sussex Handmade Soap Company and today we're going to be showing you how we create our Soul Scythe soaps. Now the word Soul Scythe literally translates from German to brine soap and that is essentially what we are creating. We are using a brine solution to create our soaps today but I think we can all kind of agree that the term Soul Scythe sounds a lot nicer than brine soap which is why we call them Soul Scythe bars. Now there are a couple of ways that you can actually create your brine solution. Traditionally uh, Soul Scythe bars are often made with seawater but there are a couple of issues surrounding the use of seawater in these soaps. If you are planning on selling your soaps, you may have trouble getting them through a UK or EU assessment if they contain seawater. I actually asked our assessor a couple of years ago if we could use seawater in our soaps. Um, and the answer I was given was that we could, but it had to be filtered and boiled before use and you can only use it in cold process or hot process soaps and nothing else. However, since I asked that question, I have seen other posts from other people and other assessors who are saying that they will not allow seawater to be used at all. So, you know, if you want to err on the side of caution and you can use method number two to create your brine solution. And method number two basically just involves creating your own solution using sea salt and regular tap water to mimic the sea, essentially. Um, and to do that, the sea has a salinity, salinity level of 3.5%. So to mimic that, I would take a jug, I would take some sea salt, and I would weigh out 35 grams of sea salt into the jug, and I then take regular tap water, and I weigh it out until we have got a total weight of 1,000 grams. So that will be a total combined weight. So 1,000 grams, sea water, sea salt even, <laughs> and water combined. And that is gonna create our brine solution that is gonna be pretty similar um, to the sea. And I do say use tap water, purely because the tap water has got many of the same or sim similar minerals to what you find in the sea. Anyway, so that is the closest way of mimicking seawater to use in this soap if you do not want to actually use seawater itself or if you can't use it for any reason. So today we are making quite a large batch of soap. We're making enough for 40 individual bars. So in this pan here, I've got 190 grams of cocoa butter, which you can just about see down here. We have got 375 grams of shea butter, and we have got 920 grams of coconut oil. I'm now going to melt these all together over a nice low heat and then when they have melted I'm going to add in our liquid oils. So now we have melted down our solid oils and we are going to add in our liquid oils and for us that is 1700 grams of olive oil, 495 grams of sweet almond oil and 285 grams of castor oil going in now. So now we've got our melted oils and we have also got our lye water solution which has been made with the salt water and one thing to know is when using salt water to make your lye solution um, it doesn't often go clear it still will remain a little bit kind of milky white in color that is perfectly normal when you are using salt water to create your lye so don't worry about that the temperatures we are working at today are about 110 degrees Fahrenheit on the oils and 111 degrees Fahrenheit on the lye solution. So those are good temperatures for us. You know, if you want to work a little higher, work a little higher. If you want to work a little lower, work a little lower. We're where we want to be, so that's cool. Now we are going to add our lye water solution into our oils. And I'm right-handed, so why did I put my lie on that side? I do not know. Let's carefully get it into my right hand. 
and we're now just going to carefully pour the lye down into the oils. After we have poured the lye into the oils, we are going to use our stick blender to bring it to a trace. And today we are going to be going for a light to medium trace for our oils and lye water, so this shouldn't take too long to do. So now we are at a light to medium trace, we are going to go in with our essential oil. And today we've chosen to use peppermint essential oil, just because it goes really well with the idea of, you know, a sea salt bar and the sea water and the brine and all of that. I think it's just a really nice scent to kind of complement that. And we have got 75 grams of peppermint essential oil here going in now. And then I'm just gonna use a stick blender again to mix in that essential oil and then it's going to be time to pour into our moulds. So moulds are the ready, we are now going to fill them up with our peppermint salsife batter. So that is one. Number two, I do like it as they start to fill up because this is pretty heavy to begin with. So once we've done the first couple, it is nice when it starts to feel that little bit lighter. That is number three. Number four. And finally, number five. So that is five loaves of our peppermint salsife soap created. We're now going to pop them to one side, then we're gonna come back tomorrow and chop them up into bars. There won't be an issue with cutting tomorrow. Although there is salt in the recipe, there is only a tiny percentage of salt, so it's not gonna cause issues with the bars getting too hard too quickly or anything like that. So we will be fine turning out and cutting tomorrow, which is when we are gonna see you next. So it's that time again. Cutting time! We have waited 24 hours and we are now going to cut up our Solsife soap. It's smelling lovely and fresh and pepperminty. So let's get this cutter open, get our soap positioned and chop it up. Pulling down on the cutter and as I said it is not too firm to cut. The cutter is going through it nice and easily. So there we have it, one nice creamy white bar of Solsife soap scented with peppermint. As you can see, we have got a lovely creamy colour, no gel ring, which is fantastic. Um, and there's not really a lot else to say about it, is there? It smells nice, it looks good, um, it is a natural soap, and hopefully your skin's going to love it. Bonus! 
So thank you for joining us today and we hope you have enjoyed seeing us making the Soul Scythe soap. Hopefully it may have inspired some of you to try and have a go at creating your own. If you are not into the actual soap making, you just enjoy the videos and watching soap being made, then that is fantastic too. We have got plenty of videos that you can enjoy if you wish to. And if you do want to purchase a bar of the soap, you can do so just here on our website and you can use our discount code for 20% off as well. If you like our content and our channel, we always appreciate it if you subscribe, give us a like and a comment, because that really does help the channel to grow, which is what we want it to do. You know, we're not going for world domination, but just a little bit of growth is always good. Um, I am starting to waffle now, so I think it's time that I say goodbye. On Tuesday, we will be back. I'm thinking we are going to do book club on Tuesday. Um, being honest, it's because we're going to be super busy over the next few days. And actually, there's a lot of books I have that I want to kind of share with you guys. Um, books that have helped me when I've been starting. And it's going to be a relatively quick and easy video for us actually to record. So I think we are probably going to do that on Tuesday. But until then, enjoy your weekend. Have a lovely weekend, whatever you choose to do. And we shall see you, hopefully, on Tuesday. Bye for now.